anything. On today's episode, we're on Heron Island. Firstly, a little bit about Heron Island. One way to get to Heron is on a helicopter. Or you can come by boat. Heron Island is a coral cay in the Capricorn Bunker Group, located in the Southern Great Barrier Reef. It consists of a ring of coral reef with an island formed in the middle. It's a home for many birds and plants, like these black knotty terns, the busy little buff banded landrail, and the eastern reef egret. But today, we're looking at marine life under the water. And the best way to see what's under the water is... Is it these? The sandy sea cucumber, or the Holothria atra, are scavengers feeding on plankton and decaying organic matter found on the seafloor. They can be found in great numbers on Heron Island and they can control their own buoyancy, making it possible for them both to live on the ocean floor or floating over it to move to new locations. Sea cucumbers get oxygen from the water in a pair of lungs located just inside the cucumber's bottom. So it's fair to say that they breathe through their bum. How boring is that cucumber, but it's a very important animal. Green turtles are an endangered species and like to eat sea grasses and algae. Young green turtles, however, will also eat crabs, jellyfish and sponges. Most sea turtles warm themselves by swimming close to the surface of shallow waters. Green turtles breathe air and can hold their breath for a long time. For example, this turtle can hold its breath for so long he's asleep on the bottom. You will look for me. Be gone. Females come ashore on Heron to the same beach used by their mothers. To lay their eggs, they dig a pit in the sand with their flippers, fill it with up to 200 eggs, leaving the eggs to hatch after about two months. How big was that turtle? And it was so cute! This is my mum. My mum and dad are open water divers. When you are old enough to dive, you can do a course and become certified. Then you can dive like my mum and dad with air tanks and scuba gear and really get up close to the animals of the reef. The reef is a living, breathing thing with hard coral beds stretching on forever. These are staghorn corals. And this is a very big brain coral. This one was about the size of half a car. Some corals are shaped like fans to filter as much nutrients from the water as possible. And then there are soft fans that bend and sway in the currents. When it comes to fish, here we can see a school of hussa sheltering under a ledge. This inquisitive little fellow is a spotted blubber lips. The round-faced batfish is a common species found on our Great Barrier Reef and can grow up to half a metre across. This fish is a prized catch among fishermen. It's a coral trout and they are yummy to eat. And while talking about good eating fish, this is a red throat emperor, or more commonly called sweet lip at the fish and chip shop. This weird looking thing is called a spiny back trumpet fish, and can move as good in reverse as it can in forward. 
some parts of the reef, fish turn up to have other fish clean them for parasites and dead skin. Here, a spotted blubber lips is being cleaned by a couple of little rasses called cleaner fish. While on Heron Island, you must check out the information centre. They will take you on reef walks and they will teach you about the animals. There is so much to learn here. It's really cool and the staff are all very helpful. Well, of course, there is a lot more marine animals than we have showed you today. And one day we hope to meet them all. From Heron Island, it's Navi and Kai TV. Goodbye for now.